Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, and records. Good. I'm going to tape my ding-dong to your forehead so you can see these knots. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Justice. Today we're talking Tinder. Let's do it. I was supposed to hang out with my friends, but I'm so tired of waiting around. Well, if they bail and you have no plans, I'm about to watch Breaking Bad for the first time. <laughs> I know, what the frick, right? I've honestly never watched that. <laughs> oh, well, I don't feel so alone then. <laughs> December 23rd, 2018. Let me know if it's worth watching, lol. Today, May 27, 2020. Hey, I, I finally finished all the seasons. 10 out of 10. Worth watching. It took you a year and a half to watch all the seasons? But I gotta be honest, I've never seen Breaking Bad either. Emily, you look athletic. Yum. Tell my high school baseball coach that. <laughs> Maybe he'll finally put me in. Put me in the game, coach. I'd let you be my captain. Sounds like I might finally make it past second base. Wow, wow, wow. Brittany, 31. I tried really hard to come up with a clever caption for the picture of you with that statue, but then I realized it was just a bust. <laughs> Get it? A, a bust of the, the statue? Um, is butt cheeks one word, or should I spread them? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name is, I'm gonna call you a bad girl. And yes, you should definitely spread them. Ooga booga! Wanna go on an adventure? Oh, where are you taking me, Adam? My cave. I make love to you next to mammoth bones. Ooga ooga. And we hunt rabbits for dinner? Oh, what the freak? No, we're ordering ooga eats. We're not savages. Oh, my apologies, sir. Yes, we have class, and we are no cavemen. Hmm. Well, of course, you are not cavemen. You cave woman. <laughs> you, when you dance. What are you looking for on Tinder, caveman? Hey, I want Pangea's Got Talent with that act. Rita, 21. Sad songs are the best songs. Coffee lover, binge watcher, professional homestayer. You have $10 to build the perfect girlfriend. Okay, any girl in the world, $10. Me, $9.47. A bag of potato chips, 53 cents. There you go, perfection. I guess just picking 18 bags of chips would be the wrong answer. Of course, hey, you got the total package here. Becky, what's your most bad crap story? Well, not to come off as a bad boy, but I once drank Pepsi out of a Coke glass. <laughs> yeah, wild and crazy, I know. Too hardcore for you? It's fine, I get it. How dare you disrespect Coke like that? Pick one. A. Dumb joke. B. Random fact. C. Song recommendation. D. It's a mystery. Can I have a combination of the four? A random dumb joke that is a fact about a song? Knock knock. Who's there? Britney Spears. Britney Spears who? Knock knock. Deja vu. Oops. I did it again. <laughs> that was clever. Was written by Max Martin. The same person who wrote I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Impressive. What was option D? Yeah, come on over and find out. I know you think dad jokes are sexy, but you have to agree to let me be your daddy first. Huh? I mean, there is a vacancy in the daddy position. Uh, not anymore. I just parked my new Honda in the vacancy, popping out with the jorts, <laughs> the white New Balances, and a George Foreman grill in the back. I would say a fanny pack as well, but the only fanny I want to pack is you. <laughs> yeah, you're smooth. OMG. <laughs> it's okay. I have a fanny pack. Fill her up, baby. Harry, 21, yoga instructor, Georgia Tech, bisexual, lives in Grayson, six miles away. Hey, this is an account made by his brother, 16, to at least try and get my brother a date. He's not weird or anything, just super ugly. Good thing it's not genetic. <laughs> well, dang. He's 6'2", but also kind of fat, like 250 or something. But not technically obese or overweight. 
He likes watching basketball and watching videos on cooking, even though he can't cook himself. He says he's straight, but acts super gay, so I said it to buy. I will swipe right on you. <laughs> what the heck? I'm sure your brother Harry really appreciates you putting his business out there. Christina, how dominant do you feel? One time I stubbed my toe and I only cried for 10 minutes. Was it the baby toe? Because if it was the baby toe, you're allowed to cry for a full day. Anakin. It's over. I have the high ground. Kay. Is her name Anakin like Skywalker? I don't watch Star Wars, but I know the name Anakin. Hannah. So your name is a palindrome, which leads me to question, do you like it better forwards or backwards? Personally, I like it better forward because Hannah just looks wrong. Well, that didn't play out the way I expected it. Maybe because she's heard that one a thousand times? I was gonna call you beautiful, but beauty is on the inside and uh, I haven't been inside you yet. Bring a condom, you can come inside right now. Hey. How quarantine treating you? Not as well as I'm going to treat you. How so? I'll let you out of the house once a month. <laughs> now get over here. You good at math? Sort of. What's 4,433 times 1? 4,433? Good. And your number times 1? And your number? Uh, was not expecting that. And this worked for my friend. May. Monday, 28 October 2019. What are you doing here? It's October. Today, May 27, 2020. Your time has come. But she's still not responding to you. Didn't we match before? Yup, you're that special needs chick. Hello, well, I just moved to the area. We've never matched. I hope the other guys around here aren't like you. Oh, sorry. Let's try that again. So, what did you used to do on a normal weekend? On a normal weekend, I would get up around 5 a.m. and walk around the streets naked, frightening postal service workers, find the first open shop, and buy three bottles of wine, drink them on the spot, go home and sleep until 8 p.m., wash my face in ice water, sacrifice something to Satin, and then spend the rest of the night in a club dancing to ABBA. You know, pretty boring. Normal life, really. How about you? Yeah, uh, pretty much the same. Is high acceptable? Just this once. Hey. Oh, crap. I freaked up. Actually, you didn't. You said hey instead of hi. Yeah, that's progress. One extra letter. Hey, Stephanie. How's your morning going so far? Not good. How about you? Sorry to hear that. Everything's okay? Well, I slept in today, it's my day off, and I just got to the gym. No. What's wrong, if you don't mind me asking? Today is my last chance to pay my rent, and I'm only missing $122. Help me, I don't want to lose everything. Dang, sorry I asked. Maybe you should go to work instead of being on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ash. Hey, I heard you were big in Pompeii. You were to die for. Hey. Hey. What's up? Just wondering why you're banned from Christian Mingo. If you really want to know, I told someone to throw that ass in a prayer circle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Christian Mingo is not the place to make that request. Aren't you the projected spread of the cooties? Because your curves are anything but flat. Yep, but don't tell anyone or they'll flatten me. Shh. It stays between you and me. Only if you let me study those curves. Anything for science, right? But you know, you gotta be careful because they can be deadly. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Well, come on over here, boy, and get this virus. Pizza or Chinese? Anything, as long as I'm not eating with you. Dang. <laughs> well, dang, asshat. Why the frick did you swipe right? Just so I can make that burn. Harriet, 22. Poo-colored eyes, poo-colored hair. Doo-doo. But your hair and eyes are not red. You should probably see a doctor. Technically, they're called optometrists. 
just visit all your healthcare professionals to be safe. Have I thoroughly seduced you yet? I'm out of jokes. I am 110% seduced. Come and take me, boy. I've been friend-zoned so many times. LOL. Would you be open to RP? Roleplay? Yes. Okay. I'll be a level 9 druid slash half-elf. I cast a fireball. How do you respond? Oh, I meant like erotic RP. Sorry. I cast a sexy fireball. I just wanted you to be an anime girl. <laughs> I have a headache, and I think you sitting on my face is the only cure. <laughs> and by sitting on my face, I meant in a mutually respectful and loving relationship built on trust and communication. <laughs> I knew that's what you meant. <laughs> okay, I'll sit down. Hey, how are you? Hey, pretty bored. Wishing the rain would stop so I could go for our bike ride and get out some energy. How about you? Relaxing, lol. What does that entail? Just laying in bed, lol. It was definitely a good day to lounge around. I ended up taking some barbecue to a friend's. Did you do anything or just relax through all the rain? Relax, lol. I feel that. I needed to relax today since I broke my back trying to carry this freaking conversation. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Product contains nuts. Okay, but I can't imagine a mature adult saying it. What is your idea of a mature adult? Someone who is able to respond to various circumstances in an appropriate manner. Girl, your question literally had no favorable outcome. This product is known in the state of California to increase risk of cancer. Do not use if you have epilepsy or prone to seizures. Caution, slippery when wet. Caution, do not spray in eyes. Do not use orally. There's no winning here. What are you currently watching? I'm in between a couple right now, but most recently, playing a game with hot stepsister Anastasia Knight, Family Therapy. I really just googled that like a Dumas. Can I come watch with you? Do you mind if my chat up line is a bit crap? Go for it. And that was it. I'm intrigued. I think it worked. Sometimes a man of few words makes the biggest impact. All right, everybody, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it to the end, then you are awesome sauce, my friend. Let's all do our part to help Chris get to 200,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you stay up to date by following the Snapchat and the Twitter. Until next time, justice served.